failover virtual machine across two open shift clusters, uh, OCP01 and OCP49. We have OCP401 on our right side and OCP49. That will be our destination cluster, and that is on our left side. Uh, we also have Portworks, uh, Metro DR cluster, uh, stretch across these two open shift clusters. We have already imported the image um, and created the data volume and the virtual machine on the source side. We will just go ahead and write some, you know, data text file uh, on the source side. And we'll go ahead and log into the VM. And we can just write the, this is a GX Metro VR migration. And we'll echo this file to test file one. Okay, and now we'll go ahead and apply a migration schedule that we have. And you'll see here, we will be migrating the VM DR namespace where our VM resides and the migration will be based on the interval policy uh, that we have defined. So we'll go ahead and apply this migration schedule. And now if we see OC get migrations, in the kube system where we applied it, you'll see our migration has started six seconds ago. And if we can issue the stored command to get the migration more details on it, and you'll see we'll be migrating five resources. And the key point here, the volumes is zero out of zero. Since this is a Metro DR setup, so our uh, volume uh, already exists on the DR side because uh, our Portworks cluster is stretched across the two data centers. So you'll see here, uh, as I mentioned in the blog, it's a partial success, and that is due to the volume that already exists on the DR side, which is totally fine. And the other one is for the CDI webhook uh, that I mentioned as well. So now the migration is created. If we go to our project on the DR side, um, and we see OC get VM, you'll see our VM is created in a stop to state uh, about uh, 55 seconds ago. So what we will do here, we will just come and stop uh, the virtual machine. from the GUI. Uh, and once the machine is fully stopped, we can go ahead and just patch the, uh, the migration schedule. So we will suspend it. Now our migration is suspended. We'll come, come to the DR side and just start the virtual machine from the GUI. This also can be done using stork CTL command to deactivate and activate the migrations, which will stop on the source uh, side and just bring up the VM on the DR side. See our VM is up and running on the DR side. We can go ahead and log into the console. So our console, So our console's up and we will log in now and we can check that data we have written, that test file exists on the DR side. This shows that the data is synchronously being replicated across two sites. That will conclude our demo of migrate failing over virtual machines across two data centers. Thank you.